In this month's Guild collaboration, we are making a spaceport with our friends and patrons on Patreon. So we have people making spaceships and we have people making aliens. And then I took all of those pieces, all of those spaceships, all of those aliens, and I animated a space station flying through space and all the spaceships landing there. And then inside the space diner with all the aliens hanging out and eating. So stay tuned for the animation. <laughs> <laughs> You actually designed an entire alien species and your species ended up being the proprietors of our diner on our space station. This is the first member of the family that I drew. She is the oldest sister and she's got a little star bun that's cute. Her outfit and her hair are so on point. So many good things happening. And then I just like draw her hand to the plate and in each plate there's a different weird food. Yeah, let's all take a moment to appreciate the fact that you drew one hand for her, three hands for the mom. That's four hands that you drew this week. That's four better than your average ever really <laughs> before. <laughs> And then I did a new thing where I colored in some of the outlines, but only the ones that were inside. So we've got a place where the neck and the head connect. We've got fingers. Colored line art makes such a difference. She's amazing. And it's such an interesting color scheme for you to have chosen. Like the kind of dead yellows and oranges. The dead yellow and orange is not your usual. You're usually very purple and green and blue and cool colors. teal and yes, cool colors. You very rarely go with the warm colors. Yeah. I was kind of shocked. So here I am assembling the trash heap. There's a picture there that is kind of the one I was going for. I wanted one of those floating, roundy space islands. And so I was just sort of sticking pieces of trash in place and then deciding what I liked and what I didn't like and then holding that hot glue forever. It was not um, compelling footage. Here they are all together. They're just about to get their first layer of primer. You can see all of the pieces. The orange and blue pieces are all 3D prints that were from other projects. We've got a massive collection of failed prints or test prints. If you look closely, keen eyes will notice a Benchy in the mix. A what? It's benchy, it's a little boat. It's the standard test print for 3D printers to see if they're working and they're calibrated properly. <laughs> you use that little boat. It's called a Benchy. I spray painted primer on them and then I spray painted some silver and other metallics and a little bit of purple. And then I found these textures, like spaceship textures online and printed them in scales that matched my little jars and things. And I made these signs. It says diner, open 24 hours there. And I just flipped the text upside down and duplicated it so that I could make kind of an alien language, but that I knew what it said. And then the signs got sandwiched with some cardstock. And then I just used a glue stick and glued all of these textures onto places. And just, it gave some extra texture here and there, which is nice. And then this was the setup for shooting the space station. So it's now the two halves are together. It's on your Graham's old Kitchen Lazy Susan so that I could spin it nice and slow. We had some lights with some kitchen cups making the color <laughs> colored of the lights. It worked really well. I was kind of excited about how well that worked because that means we can do that kind of thing again. And now here's Sam's. Yay! What'd you do? I drew the uncle of the little family thing that Ty has going on. Yeah, and, and he wanted to come over and work at the... At the diner? Yeah, at the diner. So he's a chef, huh? Mm-hmm. That looks delicious. Oh, and then you were very sweet, and you put him on a hoverboard for me, because I have to animate all these people, and I didn't want to animate <laughs> legs so you gave him a hoverboard and I made him just float around and it was a delight I must say and then you did the same thing that I did with the well yeah she was matching yeah. she was matching your style <laughs> it looks amazing I love him so much he's such a cutie
This is the mom of the family. She is the one at the cash register. And um, I really like how she turned out. I love how she turned out. I love how all of you guys' aliens turned out. They're so good. But you're getting really good at costume design and character design. Yeah. And of course, you've got the cleanest lines. I'm so impressed, always. So one of our guild friends drew this badger with a gun and he kind of looked scary and serious. And so I've made him into this intergalactic bad guy. And so at the very end, he shows up at the diner and he's trying to rob them. And in my head, mom pushes a button. She's like, no, we know what to do with your kind. And she just pushes a button and the laser cage comes down and lands on Space Badger. And then the police take Space Badger away. <laughs> the Space Beast. The Space Beast. Mm-hmm. <laughs>